Well, I think we got the perfect trifecta for camping in kind of unusual situations, I guess, or I have found myself in this uh, situation before camping. I want to be in my Haven XL tree tent and I want to be hanging in the Haven tree tent, not on the ground like a bivy or on a cot. Uh, I have found that hanging in it is <clears throat> pretty much the best uh, experience with the Haven XL. Uh, I do have the tents of four. Basically, self-suspending uh, hammock system. Uh, it's a little different when you have the hammock hanging in the tents of four. You want your head in, uh, your tethered end. You want that to be higher. So that's your foot end. Your head end, your head end is <clears throat> away from the main tether point. So in a hammock, traditionally, you want your head a little bit lower so that you kind of settle down into the hammock. But with the Haven, if you do that same setup, that same philosophy, your head, you're gonna be like that. You know, so unless you don't want the, unless you want the, all the blood rushing to your head, you can keep it that way. So what we have to do with the tents of four is we have to, these connection points, let me help you out here. <clears throat> These connection points here that are on the ground, uh, you're gonna wanna pull this back away from the tethered end to make your head end higher. So what that does is, once you get it to where you're laying flat, even, and I have even gotten it to where my head's a little bit higher than my foot, which is what I like. You have to be careful with this tensor four. If you get in on the wrong side, this head end will flip over, kind of like a mouse trap. Uh, you do have a tethered end. You're supposed to leave it slack. Uh, if you tighten that, you will do some damage to the structure. It's not what it's intended for. You can't actually hang in here without the head end being tethered. All right, so I don't want to get too much into the tents of four. I'm just trying to get it in relation to the Haven XL tree tent. All right, well, let's get back to another point, the trifecta of, so I mentioned two of them, the tents of four and the Haven XL. The third one, and it's probably the most important one, is the air pad. I 86, the Haven XL air pad, and I've gone with the Thermarest uh neo air topo lux xl it's 30 inches wide uh it's not quite as long as the haven xl air pad but it's only short by an inch or two it doesn't really make a difference this air pad is amazing with this haven xl this is what should come <laughs> I, I know it's two separate companies but man this uh <clears throat> a word a wisdom here if I could get anything out from this video is uh, if you're going to purchase a Haven XL even though the Haven XL air pad is not all that great in my book it's kind of hit or miss all right let, let me just make this story short the Haven XL is, is awesome uh, it's way better if you add the Thermarest Topo Lux XL air pad to it uh, the XL Air Pad, the Topo Lux, it packs down small, about the size of a football, so you can, you know, take it with you. Unlike uh, another Air Pad that I tried in here, the Mondo King 2XL, which works perfect in here, very comfortable. The pack size is just gargantuan; it's just really big. <clears throat> this is more realistic. This Air Pad, the way that it packs down small. And it actually supports that. It actually supports better than the Mondo King. And what I mean is the taco effect. With this Topo Lux, even I have a strap running underneath 
to help reduce that taco effect. I don't even need that strap anymore. With this air pad, there's no taco effect. I mean, it's just, it's just gone. It's completely laid flat. It's uh, perfect. So the perfect trifecta of camping. If you go out, <clears throat> there are no trees. There's no way to set up your Haven XL in the air to get a great night's sleep. Use the Tensa 4. Use the Haven XL. Use the Thermarest Topo Lux. The perfect trifecta of camping. So no matter what options you got out there, I mean, you're going to be set. This, you, you, you carry this with you, you got everything you need for a perfect night's sleep. So now let me tell you real quick, if you are familiar with the Tensa 4, then this information is going to be for you. If you're not, there's a lot of information out there on the Tensa 4, how you're supposed to set it up properly. Uh, I did set it up properly for a hammock, traditional hammock. But when you add the thermal rest, or when you add the Haven XL, you got to do a lot more tweaking and positioning. So let me just show you real quick. So right now, uh, if you have this set up for a hammock, it should not be leaning towards the foot end, which is the main tethered end. It should be leaning towards the head end. And to do that, you have to pull this whole structure back. There you go. This is the way it's supposed to look, the Tensa 4, with a traditional hammock. But notice our head end. You cannot make this your head end. You have a head end and a foot end with the Tensa 4. Trust me, stick with that. If you do anything different, if I got in on this side of this strap, which is the same side as the main tethered end, which is the foot end, this is gonna collapse over on me. So you don't want that. You have to get in on the head side, away from the main tethered end. So that means our head is down here in the Haven XL. And at this angle, that's not gonna be, I mean, unless you're a vampire, you like to hang upside down. And, you know, this is kind of like a coffin, the Haven XL. <laughs> All right, so anyway, to avoid that, we just, Pull it back this way. And as long as long as you have your head in tethered with slack. Here, let me show you without slack. Okay, you don't want your head in tethered. You don't want to, to look like this. You want it to look like that. You want slack in that line. But now when you get in, so now when you get in, you get in on the right side, the system will flatten and level out. So if you're using this setup, the Tensa 4, these two spots on the ground where it goes out that way and it connects here on the ground, you can spread these two or narrow the two depending on how high off the ground you want to be also if you're in here and your poles are hitting the side of your hammock you might want to spread them out just a little bit so you're just trying to find that sweet spot of the height that you want off the ground and without interfering with your poles one more note is uh, when you're getting in and out try to be on this side when you get in then you may have to worm your way down because if you get it on this side it's this is going to flip over you don't want to do that let's, let's see okay so all my weight is back here on the head end that's what we want now we can start sliding down to where our head is not bunched up on the the hammock so now I'm in here good. This is pretty level. I'm not sure what it looks like out there with the camera, but in here it feels a little level and it feels like my head is a little bit higher than my feet, which is what I want. So now when you're getting out, 
just shift your weight back towards the head end. And whatever you do, don't grab these poles and use these as a pull point. Don't do that. So now, no mouse trap. The only thing is just gonna lean opposite of the way it's supposed to lean when you're using the Haven XL. This is a great option for, uh, oh gosh, maybe in the desert area if you're doing some uh, overlanding or something. Uh, all you Haven XL lovers, uh, this is a great option with the Tensa 4. And also with the Thermarest Neo Air Topo, man, it's a long name, Topo Lux XL. I'm going to put it all on the screen. I'll leave links in the description just in case you want to uh, duplicate this system. Uh, I plan on using this. Uh, I do have a side-by-side. -side. I want to take this with me. I want to do some camping, you know, some uh, overlanding in the side-by-side. -side. And there's not always trees available. And I don't want to carry a big cot. So I want to be in the air and I want to be suspended in my Haven XL. So while we're on the point of the Haven XL, let me just tell you, it is a great, great, it is a great shelter. Uh, <clears throat> the only thing is the air pad. So let, let me just share a story with you. So this morning, uh, I went ahead and I ordered the Haven XL Safari. And the Safari, I think, is the material is going to be a little bit more like canvas, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I have not seen a Safari in person. Just from stories and videos that I've seen and stories that I've heard. But I think it's a little heavier material. And uh, you can raise the head end with a strap underneath. I could do that with the strap that I have running underneath here. But it also pulls my feet up as well. So basically what I'm looking for, I'm looking for that little bit heavier material. There's nothing wrong with this one. Uh, if you're looking for a light, good, sturdy, you know, one, the, the Haven XL is plenty fine. But I'm going to be carrying this on a motorcycle in a side-by-side, -side, maybe in my truck. And uh, I just want to try out the Safari. And so I ordered it, but I ordered it without an air pad because I've got two air pads that are amazing awesome with these so the haven xl and the safari are the same size 30 inch wide however long these pads will fit either one all right well thanks for tuning in and uh this is a really cool setup all right video is long enough see you